My name is Katherine Preston. I'm the Associate Director of the Program in Human Biology, and in the fall, I teach in the HumBio core. Um, I was initially skeptical about using poll everywhere because in other courses at another university, I had used clickers, and I hated them, the students hated them, they basically were quizzes and attendance, and I didn't really feel like I was learning what they did or didn't know. One of the benefits of Poll Everywhere is that you've got all kinds of different question types, and I think that's where a lot of the power comes in. So, of course, you can ask um, multiple choice questions, and that, it, that can be really helpful, especially if you want to force a choice. And um, my co-teachers, Julie Baker and Gavin Sherlock, and I used this on the last day of class to do an exercise that was designed to help the students pull together all of the concepts that they had learned throughout the entire quarter. So we started off by asking them what they would need in their so-called genetic toolkit to bring the woolly mammoth back from extinction. And they had learned a lot of genetics, they learned some reproductive technology, and so we had the students kind of talk amongst themselves and then post for everybody to see their answers and then the other students could vote them up. And we kind of took them through um, what would be difficult about using those techniques, which ones would actually work the best, some of the things that would be challenging ecologically or from a population genetic standpoint. And at the end of that, we asked them, do you think it's a good idea to de-extinct a woolly mammoth? Then we move from that to thinking about bringing back a Neanderthal, which is parallel, but really puts a fine point on it for the students, because in that case, who would be the surrogate? Would they live in separate populations, or would we welcome them into our own families? And it was really, really interesting. And it brought back something I had done, I think the first week of class, where I showed them a phylogeny of humans and showed them that, in fact, there was a time when there were five different human species coexisting. And I asked them what it would be like to coexist with another human species. So in this long, two hour long discussion, we used Poll Everywhere as a way to get the students brainstorming, as a way to get them to see each other's comments. It was really efficient. Everything was up there on the screen in front of them. And individual students would ask really quite complex questions that would then spur other questions. And so it just, the technology, you know, far from shutting them down, actually really opened them up and opened them up to conversations in the classroom.